yeah, it's been a crazy ride, but we're here, <laughs> here quite a few years later. When it comes to our own kids, we've been doing this since Alex was 18 months old, and so it's normal life for them. And so we try to help our children understand that we're just here temporarily to help their parents get on their feet, and then hopefully they, the kids can go back to their parents. Just learning how to talk through that and talk about that and be positive about reunification has, has really helped them too. <laughs> we've been um, blessed to be able to see almost all of the kids that we've had come in, into our home go back to some other rel relative or family of some type. Everybody's trying it. In the last several years, I would say we've probably put more effort into trying to develop relationships with the family, and that's been a really positive thing. Yeah, just establish relationship even mom to mom is helpful just for me to make that step and try to be as less threatening as I possibly can and just be more of like we're co-parenting right now. If we have communication via text or Facebook, um, send pictures, send updates, that is a huge way of like just bringing them in with us along, along the journey and just supporting them in whatever way that we can. You ready for me to beat you at memory? No. No. We have done everything from go to Little Rock to pick up a baby from the hospital um, to having a 17 year old that turned 18 and aged out of the system. So we've had pretty much the whole gamut. <laughs> That's it. Having a 17 year old is obviously a different set of challenges, but overall it was a, it was a really good experience. Um, we've had other teenagers who've been very difficult, but sometimes it seems like the more difficult they are, the more you get attached to them too, so. I think she can look back in a couple years and be grateful <laughs> that, that we helped her, you know. And it, it was tough to discern what was a typical teenager and what is a child that is acting out of trauma, you know. So the communication skills were terrible. But that's kind of a normal teenager. <laughs> is it really that one? I think it's that one. One of the biggest things that we've had to learn is we need to deal with our own trauma first before <laughs> we deal with the kids' trauma. Um, and so, you know, having these kids in your house, it will step on every last one of your triggers. And if you don't think you have any triggers, they'll find them for you. <laughs> they'll find them for you. And uh, so it's been helpful for us to learn more about ourselves and that's the best way that we can help these kids.